Justice Justice Obiora Kuta actually, you know, listened to two set of cases. And the first was that of the minor, and the second was that of the adult who were arrested from uh, Zaria and Kaduna State. So the first set of uh, trial, which happened, you know, between uh, 8 and of course, around 11 p.m., you know, where about 67 minors were granted bail, you know, a 10, 10 million naira bail with, uh, of course, with the shorty who was be a civil servant here within the FCT. And then the second set of, you know, trial, which involves adults, about 43 of them, who were arrested from Kaduna State. Uh, that, that has been what is happening in the court. And then, of course, uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, arguments, a lot of emotional outbursts and all that. You know, there are a lot of confusion whether these are really adults or not. The prosecution counsel, you know, claim that most of them are actually adults, not really, you know, minors. But, you know, uh, the case, as the case goes on, we'll know details of what is really going on right now. Thank you. Were the actual charges preferred against um, these people? We're talking about, we're yet to determine if, you know, the entire bunch are minors. But we need to understand what are they being charged for or what were they charged for? Well, they are charged, uh, they are, the charges are up to 10, 10 count charges. All of them are, you know, bordering on freezing, civil disturbances, and of course, you know, vandalization. Alleg allegedly, allegedly, of course, this is subject to, you know, uh, the discretion of the court. So today is just the first day of arraignment, and then we look forward to seeing what is happening. But as I speak, 67 of those minors, you know, have been granted bail. And then, of course, uh, of course, stringent conditions, which means they are automatically going back to the prison or rather the incarceration center, depending on when they meet up these bail conditions, because they are very stringent. Because you can imagine, where will, you know, a 14-year-old boy, you know, get a 10 million naira and of course it's your tea. If you, if you calculate, if you calculate 10 million naira times 67, you know, that's a huge amount of money. Who will take that risk? That's the big question. So the charges are just about uh, treason, civil dis disturbances, making references to what happened in Kano, FCT and Kaduna. You remember the NCC building that was destroyed? You remember the Kaduna Industry Protection Company that was also destroyed? You remember the banks that were destroyed along Amadi Belo? Those are those charges that were brought about against these children. And most of them are from Kaduna and Zaria. So those are the charges. Of course, that is based on the discretion of the court. Yeah, thank you. Of course, because um, according to what we understand, and as much as you know, some people would say that they are not able to determine if they are of age already or their minors, it seems as though it's been established that they are actually um, minors in terms of their age. Uh, but then, uh, did you get to speak to any one of them? We can't actually show their faces because of the age and the implication around their identity. But Emmanuel, did you get to speak to one of them to have an understanding uh, as regards if they themselves fully understand the situation they are in and if whatever charge has been leveled against them, they feel they are capable of it? Some of their parents, some, a lot of their parents came in. Uh, and of course, whatever you listen to, I, whatever we've heard from both the prosecution and defense are mere claims. We, have, we actually made our findings, and of course, I can tell you that uh, we have, I, I, can, I can actually boast that I, I, I saw with my eyes about 70 minors in this trial, 70 of them in, in this trial. Most of them speak Hausa. I spoke Hausa to a lot of them. They told me, you know, they were arrested. Some of them were arrested from Kanu, some of them were arrested from Zaria, and of course, from uh, Kaduna, and they were kept. Uh, at the Inspector General, you know, Rapid Response Team uh, office here in Asokoro for 93 days. That's about three months and, of course, three days. Quite a long time, you know. Some of them were not fed well, according to them, allegedly. Some of them uh, are suffering from different kinds of ailments. Of course, you saw the drama that happened in the morning where Justice Obiora have to excuse himself because of the, you know, you know, unfortunate scene of that boy that collapsed and was rushed to the clinic uh, nearby. So, actually, they are, they are minors. Most of them are minors. And of course, 67 of those minors were given, you know, um, um, I think one of, the, one of the reasons why the, the judge actually was motivated to, to grant those bail was because of the incident that happened in court. You know, because he, 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 he was very sure that he can be sure of 67 out of them are below the age of 15 from, he, from what he noticed. And that was what prompted him to give the bail on the first day of arraignment. Yeah. Said that um, there's a possibility that those who are not granted bail probably might be taken to uh, prison or, or a jail, so to speak. And um, a while ago, you talked about um, these um, children, or should I just say minors, were being kept in um, a facility. I'd like to understand 
as at the time they were being taken to this particular facility, does it look like a juvenile home or was it an actual jail where they were from there brought to the courts and those who are not able to secure their bail um, would be going back to the jail? When you look at the bail condition, you know, look at the time now, look at the, the time that ruling was given, you agree with me that, um, you know, securing that bail condition today is close to impossible, close to impossible. And uh, with that means, of course, the, some of them have to go back to where they are coming from. Uh, that particular place they were kept for 93 days is, as I said, the Inspector General Rapid Response Unit Office here at Guzapi area of Asokoro here in Abuja. And that is where we have the, you know, f uh, defunct uh, SARS. That's where they function. Uh, you know, uh, very specialized you know, police force. They are, you know, looking after these minors. And of course, and the very uh, funny pictures that we, we have, very disturbing pictures that we have, you know, and of course that of the plus that of that, uh, the particular one that, you know, involved the minor collapsing. So the general uh, ambience here is just that of uh, mixed feelings, heated arguments, emotional outbursts, and all that, what a few. So as the, as this goes by, of course, when we, you, you expect a lot of reactions from activists. You expect a lot of reactions for you know human rights watchdogs. You expect a lot of reactions from you know what generally happened today in court, and we expect that that may influence or that may have either a negative or a positive impact based on how it looks like on this particular issue. Yeah.